ride around the rim like an idiot. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, do it backwards. Do the whole, oh wait, no, this might actually be bad. Is it gonna get, it's gonna make it all the way to the end backwards. This is not good. Oh, you stupid, you stupid logic bot, you. What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with another episode of Logic Bots and I'm I'm pretty happy because we're getting into a little bit more complicated stuff now in the career mode. Uh, so once again, we have beaten all the college even though we don't have all the trophies uh, and we're into the industrial state, but now we're into some, some cool stuff. We're into some hazard avoidance and uh, colors and lights. Let's get into hazard avoidance here. And uh, objectives, pretty much the same as before. Build a Logic Bot that can follow the black line while avoiding moving obstacles. Complete the level in one minute, 20 seconds or less. Complete the level with a robot cost. I don't care about cost. Um, complete the level without using any gates. Well, that's interesting. You're not allowed to use any gates if you want to get that achievement. Okay, so I think to do that, we'll just lay out a bot here. We'll do some wheels. Wheels on the right, like so. And wheels on the left. Perfect. Then we just need a wheel on the back. The standard simple robot left right drive design and uh, to follow the line all we really need is two sensors so we just need two sensors that are contained within the wall in the line um, we put one sensor on the right one on the left and then that's all we got to do so we just go bot gear like so we got a right sensor over here we got a left sensor here uh, change the wire color so the left sensor means that you're allowed to drive the right wheel because the right wheel is going to push it to the left and the right sensor means you're allowed to drive the left wheel because the left wheel is going to push it to the right. So if the right sensor goes off, you want the left wheel to stop pushing it to the right until it comes back. And uh, it should be good to go. So it'll just drive along the line there. Perfect. It doesn't even matter because see, it just makes it there no problem. And then we're just going to, it's going to lift, go to lift. Oh. Well, that sucks. So we just need, I guess, a few more sensors. Laser rangers, ultrasonic. Well, we can't use any gates. Proximity, what does this do? And detect an object directly in front of it. It will detect, open a high signal if it detects an object. Okay, perfect. So we'll just put one of those. Oh, we can't split it. Basically what you want to do is when it detects an object, it'll turn around, so it'll turn off the motors, but we can't split the signal. So, uh, because using a splitter here, a triple signal squirrel, that's cool, but using a signal splitter is actually a gate. So I guess we'll just stack another sensor on top. Can, oh, they won't they don't really fit. Okay, let's just put them beside each other. Hold on. Put one here, like so, like so. And another one like that. And I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't think which one's hooked up into which. Because at the end of the day, they're both going to pretty much detect the same objects. So... All right, so now if it sees the wall, it should turn around and go backwards for a bit until it doesn't see the wall anymore, which means it should just stay in one spot. So perfect. All right, see the wall. You can do it. All right, that's amazing. Amazing. All right, go, go, buddy, go. Uh. Oh man, that 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 wall is gonna hit it. No, go, buddy, go, go. Oh boy. Oh come on. Come on, you can do it, I believe. Amazing, I can't believe that. All right, is this, no, this one's gonna, it's gonna be free and clear, it's, yeah. I can't believe that, oh, that was so close. I thought, and there's no sensors on the back, so it's not like it can speed up or anything, it's just, that's it. All right, this should be good though, it should, it's gonna see these and just kind of go right through them. You know, this level is actually pretty easy when they give you a hint like uh, you're not allowed to use any gates because when you instantly say you're not allowed to use gates, there's really only, you know, one or two ways to build it because you can't use any sort of logic to really make it have any decision making. It has to be really, really stupid. And so the only way to do that is to do this. And it's taking its time. It's not going to get that one minute, 20 seconds, that's for sure. Come on, buddy. You can do it. But if they had said something different, like you're not allowed to use, you know, uh, sensors or line sensors or something, then that would have been a whole different story because now you've, you've got to think about different ways to do everything. But overall, that was pretty easy. Um, didn't get the budget achievement, though. 460. Cheapest was 480. 
Oh, we can, well, hold on. We can totally, let's just get the budget achievement right now. We'll just delete one sensor. We've already gotten the gate achievement. So we can just put a signal splitter instead and then just split the signal into both. And that, that totally gets the budget. Now it's, it's 445, right? I think, and the budget is 460 or less. So perfect. So that'll get the budget achievement. And let's just fast forward this thing. You only really need one sensor anyways. All right, let's do it. Still almost as close. Holy cow, that was even closer. Go, buddy, go. All right, these stupid things. Are you serious? Let's put this uh, a little farther up like that. All right, this is gonna do something, I don't know. Oh, perfect. <laughs> It doesn't, uh, <laughs> it, it doesn't move backwards anymore. That's, that's actually amazing. Hold on. Let's, it's just like a woodpecker now. Because before the ultrasonic ranger was seeing the ground and it would move backwards until it doesn't see the ground anymore. Now, as soon as it tilts, it, uh, it doesn't see anything. So it just stops. That's, that's amazing. All right, perfect. Get through this last one here. Come on, don't screw up. Don't screw up. Come on, give us that sweet budget achievement. Yes. Excellent. All right, perfect. So that's good. So now we've got, you can see three of the achievements there. Uh, perfect. So one, two, three. None of the time achievements though. We're not, we're not really good with the whole time trial thing. So the next level is color navigation, but I'm actually gonna save this for the next episode because I went to look at this level and I realized you know, this is a robot that has to take instructions at specific color circles. So there's going to be a lot of logic set up to do this. And uh, it's definitely going to take a bit of time and effort. So I don't want to do that in this uh, in this video here per se. But what I do want to do instead is go on to the level afterwards, which is the light follow. And this level has pretty much the same objectives. Build a logic bot that can follow a spotlight as its beam moves across the floor. Complete the level in 2 minutes and 50 seconds or less. Complete the level with a robot cost of 550 or less. Complete the level using 2 or less light sensors. So I think... I, I don't know how this level works, so I have to at least have some kind of a bot. Okay, so let's do the standard robot here. Okay, so the light beam moves as a spotlight. So that's, I guess, pretty straightforward. And I guess wherever it goes, we just have to follow it. So I think what I want to do is have, oh, we only get light sensors. Okay. So we're just going to put a bar here then across the front. And then we're going to put a light sensor on top of each bar like so and uh, like so. And one will just, when one sees the light turn dark, it'll move that wheel forward to catch up to the light again. And when this one sees the light go dark, it'll move this wheel forward to catch up to the light. So this should be right, because that's the right wheel, and this should be left. Now, how do these sensors actually detect light? What does it say? Um, due to the sensor's high sensitivity, it will max out in direct light and will give a read of a thousand. Because it was a number. Is it a number monitor? So I guess I don't know. Let's you know, let's just check. How much do these number monitors cost if we go for budget? Oh, zero dollars. Perfect. They're free. Excellent. Okay, now let's wire this whole thing up. So Let's first place this down and the right one and then the right sensor and the left one and then the left sensor. And so it's just going to input to here and then that'll be a pass through. But for now, I just want to see what the actual, what it does. Okay. So it's a thousand, a thousand. Okay. And then it starts to dim as the light moves away. How dim does it actually get? Oh, it takes a long time to get down to zero. Okay, so really simple then. Um, we'll just compare it to a thousand. So we'll say if it's equal to a thousand, then you don't move. And if it's less than a thousand, then you start moving. So if it's equal, so we'll put some equals gates here. My wiring is super, super organized, as you can see, uh, really well done. All right, so if either of these is equal to a thousand, then we don't want to move. So if the right one is equal to a thousand, you don't want to move the right motor because if it's less than a thousand then you do. So in order to do that, we need a couple not gates because if they're equal to a thousand, I guess we could, 
Oh, we could save money and do it with a different... This is... We could do this with actually without a not gate. So hold on. I'm, I'm very silly. We can actually do this with a less than. Because then it's just one gate for each one rather than two. So if this value here is less than... So if the... Here we go, like that. So if the right gate is less than a thousand, then we have to move the right motor forward. And if the left gate is less than a thousand, then we move the left motor forward. And so that should keep them... There you go, perfect. It's just going to hug the shadow. And hopefully that'll be enough width to just kind of steer its way along. It doesn't, it's not going to move very quick, but it'll... I, I don't even know where this level is. Like it's, it looks like it's just an empty warehouse. Seems to be going well. It's very, very slow though. Just kind of chugging along there. That definitely completes the level with two or less sensors. 550 on the budget. I think this is pretty close to 550. Oh, the light's turning. Perfect. We're turning with it. Perfect. All right, keep going. I see something up ahead. I don't know what that is. I mean, I feel like there's no way you can really lose this once you once you get the method right. It's very slow, but there's, I mean, what are you going to do? You can't outrun the light unless you, oh, really sharp turn there. No problem, though. He looks like a very sad robot. He's just, he's just very sad. All right, well, it's turning again. This is good. The robot's doing really, really well. This is super dark. Um, really a terrible level for YouTube. Very difficult to see just about anything because of how dark this level is, but... I feel like this this robot might actually get all the achievements all in one shot because I feel like the time trial is oh there's the finish line right there that's got to be the finish line come on buddy you can do it just give it a little bit of boost a little bit of fast forward wait what oh my god the light stopped are you serious okay so we need to change this so really simply if the right oh Let's, we just need to leave these so they're always on. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. It makes it all the way to the end after the most painful course. And then it's like, nope, denied. All right, so if the left motor is less than a thousand, then that means, you, or if the right motor is less than a thousand, sorry, then that means you've pushed too far forward on the right side. So you need to reverse the right motor direction. And if the left, then you need to reverse the left motor direction. Okay, so now it should ride the front of the shadow. Is it going to do it? Yeah, and now it's going to just, it's going to constantly reverse the directions as it gets out of the light. It's going to kind of ride around the rim like an idiot. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, do it backwards. Do the whole, oh wait, no, this might actually be bad. Is it going to get, it's going to make it all the way to the end backwards. This is not good. Oh, you stupid, you stupid logic bot, you. What are you doing? I thought this challenge was going to be so easy. Oh, you're not... What are you doing, you stupid logic bot? Oh no. It's not gonna do it. I can't believe this, guys. It's, it's, first of all, it's just freaking out. It's actually gonna do the exact same thing it just did. Are you for real? Are you serious? Let's add a bar into the front here. This is this is the brilliant plan of the century, guys. Uh, what? No, how do I? I just want a really long bar. It goes like out the front. How do I? No, I don't. Okay, well, this is obviously not what I want. No, I just I just want a bar that'll stick out the front. If I have to put it underneath, I'll put it underneath. I don't care. Okay, perfect. This is still the right, and this is still left. Okay, perfect. So now the sensors are way out in front. So now it should still push its way through the line. This is this is brilliant. So it's going to go in reverse, but it doesn't matter. This is ridiculous. I don't know why this is the way we're going to do it, but it is, it's having a dance party, but that's okay. But see, now it'll make it all the way to the end. It's just, that was ridiculous. I can't believe that. It makes it to the end, and then the light stops. Like, why would the light stop? Why wouldn't you just have the light keep going? Why does this have to go backwards? I mean, these are questions that we just don't... Oh, goodness. Oh, God. Is that the? Is that just the time lapse? Oh, no. It's, it's doing that. Okay. All right, buddy. You could do it. You can cross the finish line. I believe in you. Oh, there we go. 
All four achievements, look at that. Amazing, even the time trial. If you guys like this video and you want to see more of this series, make sure you hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, it definitely helps out the channel. And uh, I'm excited to get back into this color navigation and also check out what some of these other levels are, like avoid bots. Very interested. But uh, make sure you hit those buttons down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.